This week, the railway is one years old. So the next two videos are going to be a celebration of what is good and what is bad. Ah, just drop hot wax on my fingers about the railway. Happy birthday, VLR. So without further ado, here are the top five good things that I did on the VLR in the first year. Ready? Go. One. Number one, the best thing that I bought for the railway it was the very first thing the railway I bought, which I don't have the box anymore. I'm going to represent it using this photo. So it was the original Pico Pico GE 25 ton starter kit. Uh, this had a circular track, a little locomotive, and two carriages. Um, so, and it also had a power supply, which I have not used at all because the track is not powered. But this kit has been great. I've built two different engines on top of the uh, like 25 ton diesel loco body thing that it came with, and I've converted most of the carriages that it came with into three carriages, the beer train one and two kind of wagons. Um, the track's outside, has been outside for a year and has, other than the rail weathering to a really nice colour like this. It's just been really great as a starter kit. Um, I bought some extra rails, another semicircle of circle to make the longer over out and some more straights but yeah as a starter kit it's done everything I wanted to do and uh, has let me kind of have a year of building bits and pieces so it was great two number two is the succulent garden which you can just see over my shoulder now this was done initially just because it was going to be the easiest way to not have to really look after any plants but actually it has grown uh, pardon the pun, into something much more. The scale works really well. Uh, it brings comments from people that come and say, oh, we've got a train, and then they see the garden as a secondary thing. And actually, one of the plants, a giant kind of sprawling thing here, is also beginning to work very well as a kind of ground covering. I do have to keep it trimmed of weeds, I have not been too hot on recently, but I'll get back to that. So yes, number two was the choice of the succulent garden. Three. Number three was the choice of using pallet wood to build the various bits and pieces on the railway. Um, I did stain it all, as you can see here behind me. But it has been outside in probably some of the most brutal of the Australian weather with sun and rain and uh, it's actually stood up pretty well it hasn't warped or uh, collapsed or rotted anywhere and um, for stuff that I've just kind of found on the side of the road and scavenged it's been a pretty good building material so yeah pallet wood is the third good thing that I used on the railway four the fourth good thing was the decision at the beginning to not run track power and to run the locomotives on remote control. This has made it really easy to build new locomotives and just to keep the track running. I don't have to worry about cleaning it every time I want to run a train. I don't have to worry about the tracks being soldered together properly. And the remote control gear I got from RCS, Remote Control Systems, which is an Australian company, an excellent link in the description, uh, has been excellent. It's uh, been pretty resilient, it's not been treated the greatest every time I've used it, but it stood up to where I can throw it, and for my little kind of uh, layout in the backyard has been absolutely excellent. Um, his battery system is excellent as well. Um, it runs on 6A batteries which is more than enough speed for the uh, trains that I'm running and I've only charged the batteries, they're just normal rechargeable AA batteries, I only charged them once and I don't run for very long periods of time but um, yeah it just they just keep going and going and going. 
So yes, number four was the choice of battery and remote control. Five. The final thing that's been good in this first year has been this. The building of the second body on the Loco engine. It uh, fits the scale of the railway. Although it's not really an authentic colour, the blue is a good choice of colour on this layout. Uh, the choice of making the little rivets down here was really good. The use of the paint, the various things. Uh, compared to the other body I built, see next week's video, it just worked really well. The method of securing the motor block using the foam so it's removable, grey, the choice of using balsa wood because it's an easy material to glue together and work and unless you're up really close when it's off down the line you don't really see that it's balsa wood. It's just been a great experience to do and the kind of little things I made to be able to pull the carriages stuff like that you know it's not greatest of high-tech engineering results but for something that is cheap and just allows you to kind of keep your brain occupied whilst you're doing the commute it's been a great experience and a great end product that's not loads of money because I can spend loads of money on live steam locos and stuff like that when I'm older for now for just something to trundle around the garden and uh, you know not break the bank this has been a good choice So there you have it, all the good things that have happened in one year of the railway. All the good things that have happened by our first birthday. If there's anything you'd like to see in our second year, leave a comment below and of course like and subscribe. And as always, choo choo.